Hi Cancer, my name is Debbie and I'm an intuitive reader and I'm here today to give you your general monthly reading for the sign of Cancer for the month of January of 2019. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading so if you are interested in a private one all the information is down below in the description box. So whomever this is meant for, I pulled a 15 card spread, no clarifiers needed as of yet, okay, they always let me know. Uh, I did pull an outcome card and I clarified that three times to see where it was going. So in regards to you guys here, uh, let's get started. Who am I, whoever this is meant for, you have the death card here. So I do feel that there's definitely changes coming about, okay? Uh, in regards to a love situation, I feel that this is your energy with this Queen of Cups. Now you could be dealing with another water sign as well. But I feel in regards to a love situation, I feel that things are going to be changing, but you've been trying to stay strong. This is Leo energy, so you could be dealing with a Leo as well. What I feel here is that there was some type of lack of communication with the Justice card. This is Libra energy as well, okay? A lot of major arcanas, actually. Uh, but I do feel that there is going to be some type of decision. It's kind of like, you know what? I'm at that crossroad, okay, in my life where I need to make some type of decision, all right? You've been trying to stay really strong. There was some type of... Uh, what I'm feeling here is that basically somebody walked away from a love situation, okay? And you're looking for that decision to be made as to say, well, where do I go from here, okay? Uh, what I'm feeling here is that this is definitely uh, spiritually guided. You have not just the emperor here. He's the father figure of the universe, okay? But just to give you a sneak peek, I'm going across first. But here's him underneath this is the judgment card. Two very spiritual cards here. So there's definitely spiritually guided in order to have some type of change, okay? I feel that whoever this is meant for, you have the two of pentacles. So it's kind of like you've been talking to spirit. You've been talking to the universe. You've been ad being trying to be advised by spirit. You're turning your energy to the universe saying, please help me. You know, I'm a little off balance. That one pentacle should be down. You are literally turn looking, kind of saying, I'm off balance with this situation. Please help me. Please guide me. They are listening to you. Okay? Absolutely. You've been very, very patient, I feel, in order to get some type of justice served. I always take notice to what they're looking at, pointing at. Uh, right here, looking right up at that justice card. So somebody's been seriously uh, being patient, uh, could be dealing with a, a Sagittarius as well, okay? But literally being patient to hear from them again. Because I feel that this person walked away with the Eight of Cups. They walked away from this relationship, okay? So it's kind of like you're being patient for them. I just heard to come back. They walked away. You're being patient to hear from them. You're being patient to, for them to make a decision to communicate again. And right after that is the Page of Swords. So there is that communication in regards to that sword energy, which is that truth, that communication, that uh, knowledge, okay? This is definitely being uh, spiritually guided with the Judgment card here. There is going to be a decision made, I feel, in regards to some type of communication that was slow motion, all right? That Knight of Swords is early turned looking at that Judgment card there. So there is going to be, I really feel spiritually guided in regards to somebody coming back after quite a bit of time of not hearing from them, okay? Because right after that, you got the Fool card. So there is a new beginning, but I also feel, wow, you guys have been through it. You're literally looking up. Look at what you're looking at, okay? It's kind of like you're literally turned looking up. Where's this new beginning, okay? Somebody walked away. Where's it at? You know, that's what I'm feeling here. You've been having this strength. You've been having this patience. You want to hear from this person. You want them to make a decision in regards to communication with you to heal the situation. You have the Fool card literally kind of sort of facing the Star card here. You want things healed. You want this new beginning. This is a wish fulfillment for you to have a new beginning, okay, in regards to the Ace of Cups. They want me to do, no, you don't want me to do the outcome? Okay, hang on. All right, so we're going to do the three down, all right, five across. So I'm not going to pick them up because if I touch them, they'll all spin. All right, so I'll, I'll just explain everything. You have the death card, you have the emperor, and you have the judgment card. That tells me is that there is some serious changes going on that is definitely divinely guided that will make a decision, okay? 
In regards to the Queen of Cups, your energy or you could be dealing with another water sign. Regardless, this is love. In regards to the Queen of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, and the Knight of Swords, that tells me that in regards to this relationship, you're feeling a little off balance because this person has lack of communication for quite some time with that Knight of Swords. Strength card, Temperance, and, new, and the Fool card tells me you've been trying to keep your chin up, you've been trying to stay strong, you've been having this patience, wondering when is this new beginning going to start, okay? Justice card, Libra energy, doesn't have to be, Eight of Cups, and the Star. You want this communication because they walked away. And I do feel the message here is that you're going to get that communication back from somebody who walked away. They're making that decision to heal the situation as well as a, a wish fulfillment. With the Two of Wands, the Page of Swords, and the Ace of Cups, somebody's making that decision to communicate again to start anew. Here's your outcome. Four of Cups. So the Four of Cups is known for either you're receiving that cup of love, which I do feel that you are, okay, but for this instance, what I'm feeling here is that somebody out there has not been feeling this love. It can go both ways, especially with the card right after that, <clears throat> excuse me, with the seven of wands. So this has been extremely frustrating, <clears throat> definitely lack of communication, thank you, Spirit. In regards to not feeling this love, it's been frustrating for you. But right after that, clarified again, is the six of wands. So there is going to be victory in regards to the sun. So things are, going to, things are going to look up, is what this is saying. Yeah, you don't feel the love, okay? Yeah, it's been frustrating, but you're going to get that victory in regards to clearing things up, I feel. Getting that sun, getting that new start. The sun card is, these two cards in itself are like awesome energy, okay? There's going to be that victory in regards to that new beginning, that brighter future. So, hmm. So what I'm feeling here for uh, the sign of cancer, you guys have been really through it. To have one thing in regards to the temperance or the strength, but to have them both and they're right next to each other, above and below each other, that's pretty strong. So I do feel that somebody out there is definitely going to have some type of change. You got spirits back 100%. You've been actually communicating, whoever this is for. Please help me, I'm feeling off balance with this situation. They hear you, okay, and they are helping you. And they're also helping you have that strength and the patience as well to deal with this. You're wondering where this new beginning went. It's kind of like, you know, I thought that we had this relationship. I thought that everything was cool. And then it, you walked away. You made the decision to walk away. Where'd it go? You know, I do feel that somebody is going to make that decision, decision to justify the situation, meaning communicate again. To heal the situation to start anew so even though you've been all in this hot mess in regards to not feeling this love and very frustrated you're actually communicating which is really good to do with spirit give me the strength give me the patience give me the answers help me with this change because things changed in my life I really thought that there was going to be this new beginning of this love and then they just got up and walked away I do feel that they are making that decision to communicate, to start anew, anew with you. What's wild is, is that it's kind of, it's kind of like you are reflecting about how much pain you went through with this. Of not feeling this love, of feeling this frustration, but yet it's still going to be victorious and, and be, be better. There's a lot of talking that needs to take place is what I'm feeling, Okay. It's not going to be a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. This person has literally been through hell. Please excuse. But that's what I'm seriously feeling. You got my hopes up high, and then you just totally destroyed me. You know? Because I thought that I had a future with you, and then you walked away. You made that decision. Now this person is coming back to communicate with you, and I do feel that they were going to smooth things over, but... It's going to take a lot of work. It's not going to be a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am kind of thing. Because I do feel that this person is extremely hurt, that this communication got cut off, that they walked away. It brought them into huge turmoil, you know, of their mind, of their frustration. When they do come back, you may be turning to spirit as well as to say, well, what do I do? There could definitely be a trust factor with this as well. 
you know, if they walked away once, what can they say about walking away again, you know? So it's kind of like, it's kind of like you're, you're, you're off balance, communicating with spirit, but there's definitely a change coming. And this is meant to be. Wow. I, I just feel this heaviness. And I, and I kind of want to cry. It's a lot of tough energy that you guys have definitely been going through. Definitely. You've been seriously, patiently waiting for communication. They're going to make that decision to communicate to start anew. But it's going to take a lot of work. You know, a lot of communication. And you're going to doubt yourself if this is my right path. If this is what I'm supposed to do. You're going to actually turn to spirit source and talk to them to help you. Not that you haven't already. But you're going to turn to source, to spirit, to universe, to find out what you should do. I do feel that there you're going to heal the situation, okay? It is a wish fulfillment, whomever this is meant for to start anew. But there's a lot of trust factors here is what I'm feeling. Because this person seriously got burnt. But in the long run, there's victory for healing for a better future with this. But there are some serious thoughts going on in regards to help me make that decision. Put me on my right path. Am I supposed to have this? Yes, you are. It's just you got you to gotta have that conversation. You have to have that communication with this person to heal the situation is what I'm feeling. It's not going to be an overnight thing, though. There's a lot of talking to take place in order to heal. Because you guys have been seriously, seriously through it. Wow. I can seriously feel that fool card and literally looking up at that eight of cups and saying, why did you leave? You know? And now they're coming back with that communication to start anew. Which is going to throw you off your balance, I feel. As to say, what do I do? Wow, that is really heavy energy. That's what I'm feeling. Best thing I can tell you is hear them out and communicate. I mean, I can't tell any, but I just feel that this is this is supposed to happen. This is supposed to work its way out. This is meant to be, absolutely, with the death card, the emperor, and the judgment card. Right smack down the row. But that's really going to throw your trust factor off a little when they come back. All I can say is really just hear them out and listen to them, but it's going to definitely take some work, okay, to work on this, to heal the situation, but they are coming back and communicating. Wow, that was heavy. That was really heavy. I can barely breathe feeling. A lot of, lot of, lot of energy, a lot of heartbreak. Wow, you guys have really been through it. So that is what I have for whomever this is meant for. I hope that this helps. just feel like I can't stop talking. Hang on. They want you to work things out is what I'm feeling. But there are some serious trust issues. It's kind of the feeling of I really had high hopes for this. But then you walked away and destroyed my confidence. Destroyed everything. And I've had to stay strong and patient for you to come back. And now you come back. And now I have to turn to source and find out the answers. And I have to figure out what I want to do now. Because there's, you know... I didn't feel the love from you. I felt this frustration, and now you want this victory? So there's a lot of communication I feel that needs to be displayed, absolutely, to work on things, okay? It's not, like I said, it's not going to be an overnight thing. you got to really work on it, all right? So anyway, that is what I have for whomever this is meant for. I hope this helps cancer. Wow, tough. Uh, but thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also, click that little bell on the side to get updated information. I do weeklies, dailies, and now monthlies. You guys rock. Stay strong, okay? And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.